Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me in another swashbuckling episode of Groovy Van Picker. Well, I know it's been a while since uh, I last checked in with everybody, but I've been taking care of a lot of other stuff. I'm working, and as you can see, I'm doing some work in my van, too. And so, um, I haven't been doing a lot of picking, for obvious reasons. Because all the picking spots are closed with no yard sales, none of that kind of good stuff happening. So, I've been working my traditional job. Um, I have one of those essential jobs. And been doing some work on my secret hideout. As well as doing some work on my motorcycle and doing some van work. As you will see, um, I just installed some cabinets in here. It's a lot nicer. Um, I'm still working on, you know, different things for my van. So, anyway, um, come take a look and you'll see what I've done so far to my groove wagon, my 1969 Ford E300. I'm making it groovier and groovier as we go along. Take a look. Okay, this is my 1969 Ford E300 Econoline van. I did a van tour not too long ago. Um, but here's a better one. Here is the driver's seat right here. We have my police scanner, my CB radio. And it's in pretty firm shape. It does have a 302 engine. did a valid job on it about two years ago. That was for an auxiliary battery, but I have something different that's not hooked up right now, but I can hook it up. And <laughs> yeah. I do have an Uga horn. Up on top I have Right now, 45 watts of solar panels um, that uh, I do plan on improving on that pretty soon. Back here, I do have my auxiliary battery, one that's hooked up to those solar panels up there. We got some storage down in here. My heater which is stowed away right now because it is starting to become summer. You gotta have tools. This is my jack. Also has some jack stands and my tire chains. Inside here I do have some cabinetry back there I just built. Um got some Little harbor frightening lights up there. This couch folds into a bed. Down 
here. It has a little latch I can flip. Bed out. Flip that little latch. Pull it out. And these go in here. Like so. Make it nice and comfy. I have my sheets and blankets down in there. And when I get up, it just simply folds back up like that. And I put my bed clothes away. I do have a TV set. Um, I want to replace this with a, one with a built in DVD player. That light has my storage that I just built up here. Not only that, but I have access to that storage area that I showed you through that. Or I can open this. And one of the other things that I just put in recently is these cabinets with, oh, there's my uh, solar charge controller. I put these cabinets in just the other day. There's my little inverter. I hardly ever use a thing because my TV set runs on 12 volts, plugs right into the, to the battery. Some more storage down here. This I'm going to redo. It's too small, but it works. So, yeah, there's some of my uh, stuff that I have in here. Um, and I did this over the weekend with the last couple of few days. One of the things I do have in here is I have my portable crapper right there. And I have about 14 gallons of water. I got some more storage there. I got to clean this out a little bit. It's kind of a mess. But this headliner, I made that out of a blanket. You got to have the shag carpet in a van of this vintage. And I chose the brick paneling just because it was interesting. And the van reminded me of a brick. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work to my van. And I've got a long way to go. But uh, it's coming along. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot on eBay either, just working on my traditional job that I have, and, uh, saving my stuff for when the swap meet's open, or if my job certainly suddenly becomes non-essential, but I still have a whole bunch of stuff there for eBay, as well as swap meets. Um, a lot of people I always see all running around asking what's going to happen, you know, with this uh, COVID-19 thing. Well, this is going to be hungering now for a while. Social distancing. I've been doing that before. It's been cool. But I've even heard people say it's going to be the end of van life and the end of reselling. No. No, 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 no. It's not going to be the end of none of that. It's going to be going around. You know, swap meets have been around for thousands of years. Van life, in some way, shape, or form, you know, back in the old days, they'd live in covered wagons or chariots or whatnot back in the ancient times. But, you know, that's going to be around forever too. It's just right now we're hunkered down, I guess, you know? And you know, I am doing what I can to stay away from people. I've always done that. You know, only go out and get stuff when I when I have to. Um, but hopefully this is going to be over with pretty soon. And I say it's going to have to come gradually. You know, first we're going to have to open up the government buildings. Then they're going to have to 
work on getting a lot of these quasi-essential businesses going, like, you know, barbers and whatnot, with proper social distancing. And even the casinos. Now, the casinos are probably going to only open up, you know, the restaurants, no buffets. Damn. I like the buffets, as you can tell. Um, but they're going to probably open up the, you know, the restaurants, move the tables far apart. And open up the slot machines and maybe the keno. We're not going to see a blackjack game for quite a while. I'm, I'm, I'm playing the bet. Well, why not? It's a casino. And sports betting. Well, that's not going to happen until we start getting some sports because otherwise, what are you going to bet on? You know, cockroaches running across the floor. <laughs> so you're not going to have sports betting guaranteed until we get some sports. You know, football, baseball, other kind of garbage that I find utterly boring. But so that's my little take on the situation. Outside of that, um, I will keep you posted. Again, this channel is about van life and picking, and you know, swap meets and eBay. So since picking. And swap meets. Swap meets, I think, might happen sooner than later because at a swap meet, you can social distance. Um, especially the ones that, that I've been selling out lately where there's, like, nobody there, so you are social distancing. But, you know, they will come back into full swing. You know, I'd say in the next few months, I'm guessing. Anyway, that's about what I have for today. I hope you like my little uh, show. If not, there's not a whole lot not to like. All right, wait.